Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and I'm coming at you with another Star Citizen video. First thing I want to let you know is we're getting ready to head over to the Aerospace Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. Uh, this is where we spawn. You spawn in a, in a hab. You get out, and I just wanted to show you how easy it is to find it when you're now i'm in the ptu but when it goes live probably saturday i'm not sure uh because that's when citizen con is <clears throat> but here's the intergalactic expo signs you just you just follow the signs basically you come on out except there's one sign that i would say don't follow and that's that one and that one <clears throat> Follow this sign. You got an electrical sign on the wall there. I think that's pretty cool. It's kind of like a holographic sign. You just go on down this alleyway right here. This is how you normally get out of that area anyway. And then this is telling you you're going in the right direction. And you keep going and that's telling you you're going in the right direction. Different types of signs. I think they're experimenting with different types of signs and just showing off and there it is there and you notice on the bottom it says show floor this way all right and then look over there you see this big huge banner it says internet galactic expo so just go ahead and head through the uh the fizz and keep going so it's not hard to find now as you know this is the train center anyway this is where you would go to get on a train and uh in the last few patches, I believe the left path here has been closed. It has been locked shut because I guess the developers were working on uh, getting the train to go to the right place. So there, we, we still have the Intergalactic Expo signs. Uh, I do want to let everyone know that I will be doing a live stream on Saturday when they do the uh, CitizenCon panels and things like that. I'll be doing a watch party. So if you want to join me, talk to me while we are watching if you have any comments looks like we just missed the train that's perfectly fine it gives me time to say something um i'm gonna i'm gonna be up early 5 a.m something like that i think the i think it starts at like 7 in my area so 7 a.m that is might be 8 a.m i'm gonna have to take a closer look uh even so the videos probably don't start until 8 or 9 but either way i'm gonna be up uh, watching Jared and all those guys talk about how great the uh, Citizen Con experience is and all that, and and we'll be t we'll be commenting about it. Okay, we'll be talking, we'll be reacting to the, the new videos, the the surprise stuff that that they're going to show off. Um, so if you want to join me, I'd appreciate it. I'd like uh, I'd like to be uh, uh, have some banter back and forth with some of my some of my uh, community. And uh, we might have some fun. We might, uh, we might, you might see something that I miss, or I might see something you miss. Um, so yeah. All right. Now this train goes to uh, the expo and the expo only. Okay. But I'm going to get in the front, uh, and I'm going to try to get into a spot, like maybe right here, where you're going to be able to see everything. Because this, this train is actually going to take you to a different part of this city. See, we didn't turn left there, or right there, or whatever. I don't know my left and right. We're going, where, where the heck are we going? We're going in between these two buildings. We're going high up, too. We're like, we're in the stratosphere. No, I don't know. <laughs> Look at that building. Look at that. That's just weird. Okay. Oh, there's that big donut. It's an auditorium. It's a stadium. It's a, it's a Zataball tournament area. I don't know what they do, what they do there, but there, that's where the international aerospace. And then they have like this little landing zone, dooba dooba doo, and like a little bridge that takes us to the center because there's the outer circle, right? <clears throat> and there's a little docking station like you normally would see all around town. Floodlights. I wonder what the. I wonder what. I wonder what people do down there. All right. And then this looks like any other landing zone, but I'm glad they've got a um, little bit of foliage. That really. That to me, that makes a big difference. 
I got this guy's got coffee to go. I'm gonna I'm gonna get me some. I just had some coffee on my table. All right, and it's all about the ships. It's all about the ships. And uh, so when you go in to the expo. Uh, each little manufacturer like Aegis or Anvil will have their own advertisements playing or showing. That looks like an... Is there something playing up there? Or is that outside? Purple lights outside, okay. I wonder where that music was coming from. Either way, we're going in. So we've got Remember that picture, right? Whoa, not that one. That's... So this must be an Aegis panel because uh, everything you see on this panel is Aegis except for that... Well... That was cool. Okay, and then over here you got RSI, you know, the, the med medical. You got Crusader. I just must have sp spent a little bit more on the expo to get that video slideshow. All right, we come in. Look over right. Look, look at that. I got a M50 floating up there, and then you got the Razor ads. That's the salvage thing. I can't remember what it's called, but everybody said it was the uh, came directly from Eve, Eve Online. I don't remember what it's called though. And then that is a uh... <laughs> I went to the left like I was going to be able to see the front of it. Um... Origin is that an 85x? I don't even know couple of people hand gliding that'll be fun to do i'd like to i'd like to get some star citizen terrain like that in the in the verse i would be all about exploring in that kind of like hills with the trees like that sorry getting away from the getting away from the ships from the ships okay ages and this is the bevic convention center Okay, somebody else is watching a video somewhere else. But what do we got here? We got the Retaliator, the Saber, and the Gladius. That looks like the Gladiator, maybe? Um, yeah. Uh, Tumbrel Cyclone. I'd like to have a Tumbrel Cyclone. I don't have one of those. What? Oh, wait. They're out of stock. Sold out. They used to have a bunch of t-shirts in the previous patch. Every one of them had, like... All these t-shirt racks had different um, different manufacturers' logos on them. And then, like... Yeah, let's go on up and see what we got. Intergalactic Expo show floor this way. And, of course, this is like the thing that you would see in your hangar. Model kits and stuff. Yep, they took all the t-shirts down. They did... They wouldn't let you buy them anyway, but they did show them that they were for sale. That is a cool little machine there. I like it. A box of something or other. Oh, a little nod to the old wingman's hangar times. A little square lamp. <laughs> a little Easter egg or whatever you'd like to call it. Yeah, all the all little vendors outside don't have any, any t-shirts at all. Now that looks like the um, Constellation um, Phoenix. That's cool. That's not, but that's a that's a Ursa. You got a gold Constellation model over here. I wonder if it's for sale or for steel. No, um, and then there's like a, a silver constellation model, and then everybody is like going crazy over this little snow globe right here. 
It's got the Carrick in it. Big deal. I think I've got one of those in my hangar, actually. Okay. More t-shirt vending, right? A little guy that says... Okay, that was a dude the last time I was here. It's a girl now. And that's freaky. Okay. Look at those eyes. She's like the Queen's Guard. She ain't gonna move. She ain't moving. I don't rec I don't remember this fabric. Okay, but there the dude that was here before had a little had a little uh, panel on his throat or whatever. It was like a little display panel right there, and it said James is trying to take over the world. <laughs> and I was like, what? I should have filmed that, but okay. Are you gonna talk to me? Nope, just gonna stare at me. Okay, that's fine. Get your tickets. Take a look at more of these uh, golden ships. A plant, some overstock over there. What? What is that? I need me one of those. Okay. Um, and then we went to the elevator, and this is where... This is the farthest I've gotten because the elevator would spawn, but it didn't have any locations for us to go to. My guess is it's supposed to take us to the showroom floor. It just takes us to the lobby, which is right here. Back to the lobby. <clears throat> so I'm going to try each of the elevators, see if any of them work. My guess is the showroom floor is not actually ready for prime time. So, they're not letting us go see it. That's my guess. Talking about the hawk. Okay. Lobby. Last chance. My guess is we're not going anywhere. Yeah. Well, see, that sucks. Okay, so it's not implemented in the PTU yet, uh, but I will keep trying each day uh, and letting you know. The main reason for the video is to let you know that I will be at the expo uh, live streaming and I will be at CitizenCon live streaming. So if you wanted to uh, chit chat with me or have, uh, you know, uh, what do they call them? Uh, a watch a watch party that's what we're going to do so um expect me to be on around 7 a.m central time uh for the watch party maybe earlier maybe later just uh do i have to get a ticket to go in dude you're not paying attention okay here comes the train all right that's that's how you get in. That's how you get out. And I bet you this is going to be the front now going back. Oh, and another train is here as well. So there's a lot of trains coming this way. Just to make sure that there's no wait. In and out. In and out. That's the way it is. Alright guys. Well that's it for this video. And I will see you at the convention.